Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Scorpio. Any placement. Flip and switch the energy. Take what resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Scorpio reading. Anything you need to know about me is down below. I hope you all are well. Let's see. What does spirit want you to know? What's the tea? Angel, spirit, guides, and ancestors for Scorpio, please. The hangman. Hanging in the balance. Patience. Waiting. Stalled. Procrastination. In jail. Introspection. Enlightenment. In insight. Let's see. Four, Scorpio, King of Swords. Very analytical. Could be giving you the cold shoulder. Could be closed off, okay? There could be someone analyzing to see what's next for them. But right now, while you're waiting, things could be on hold. There could be a marriage or a divorce or something here going on. For some of you, it could definitely be a divorce or separation pending. Okay. Or well, this is what your person is going through. Someone could definitely be stepping into your life here to try to make something right for you here that could be stalled let's see for scorpio what's the energy the sun optimism joy happiness vitality leo energy pisces with this uh hang man um these if y'all do with an aquarius it could be an opposite sign here of the sun aquarius and a uh, leo or separate but for me, it doesn't have to be. It could be a Gemini or a Libra as well. But um, I feel like someone here could definitely be guarded, even though you're their happiness. Or this is someone trying to be sure before they come towards you in this optimistic energy. There could be a healing phase. So someone could definitely be guarded, closed off. They're not interested. Okay, someone could be going through court. They're hoping for a great out outcome. Someone's focusing on their success. Very guarded energy is what I'm feeling. Let's see. What else for Scorpio? The hangman. Yeah, someone's withdrawn, disconnected even. But I feel like for some of you for good reason, there's a whole lot of enlightenment going on with the hangman and the hermit Virgo energy. This is shadow work. But it's a healing journey with the sun card and the hangman and the hermit. There's a man here, King of Swords, or a masculine energy for my same-sex people, um, really thinking about themselves. And it could have been after a lesson has been learned. I really need to heal. It's a vibe. What else for Scorpio? Someone could be depressed even, or they could have been. They could be coming out of that for Scorpio. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, equal give and take. Reciprocation. Giving to you and another for some of you. Or how do they best give to this connection? How do they make it balanced? Taurus energy. Okay, we're going to clarify. Tower at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy. Something came tumbling down. Oh, okay. Devastation, destruction. Could be an Aries too. Yep. Let's see. What's this energy for Scorpio here with this hangman, angel, spirit, guides, and ancestors? This is a new deck. It's going to give me insight based on the illustration. Ugh. How did we get to this point? It could be a family here or a marriage. They could have been juggling you and another going back and forth about whether to fix it or not. Or they have a family and a marriage and they can't survive without that person. They need them financially. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Aries energy. Uh, they could have definitely had two families going on. If not a family, they've been stepping out and doing a whole relationship. There's a stressful choice on whether or not they want to stay in it or make it work. Could be you. Let's see. I feel like that person supports them financially. Without them, they would struggle. What's this hangman for Scorpio? Angel spirit, guys, and ancestors. Five 
all the cups. That's disappointing, child. There the sun again, though. We're going to have to see what this optimism, this joy, this vitality or pregnancy is about. Or success, Leo energy, three of cups, some kind of collaboration in a circle. Three is a crowd, though. So, five of cups, Scorpio energy. It's giving grief for a lot of you. But it could be disappointment. It can be regret. I feel like something is on hold, though, because of however this person is feeling emotionally guarded for a lot of you. Some of you are disappointed in this person. You could be hoping, waiting, optimistic for them to change, for them to become better and do better in this relationship. If you're married, you could be waiting on your husband to got, stop giving you the cold shoulder or to be better or to show up better in this relationship. For you men, flip it, switch it. And if it's not a marriage, it's a relationship. It's given, I'm hopeful, even though I'm disappointed in you, I'm hopeful, son, that you will go within and give to this connection like I do, Six of Pentacles, tower before it ends, before it comes tumbling down. The tower is at the bottom of the deck, which is a hidden factor for me as a reader. This isn't going to work. This family, this marriage, boom. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles right there again. But this family, this marriage, Ten of Pentacles, two of, Ten of Swords, it's no. Dark clouds, dark days. They can fight, fix all they want. I'm not wishing on no downfall. This is a reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. But because I'm tapped in, and I am quite sure, a tower is either spirit bringing something down or your inner spirit, which could be your higher self-intuition, making you, causing you, leading you, guiding you to let this shit go. Because it's going to show up no matter what. You can't escape this. This is a major arcana. So if it's not a marriage, it's some kind of tradition, some kind of ideal of what they should have, how they should be, how they should show up in a relationship. King of Swords. Scorpio. Four of Cups. He's not even happy. There's a man here that's cheating because he's disconnected. He's not happy. And to be honest, even though he didn't want it, he still tried it. If there's someone here that has been cheating with a mistress or a mister, they had no intentions to keep it. Look how he's sipping those cups. And most decks, he, he sits there with empty cups. God is giving this man all these options, all these cups. In another deck, all those cups are surrounding him on the ground. He don't want them disinterested disinterested lack of interest contemplation i don't know what i want this king of swords so four to the five of cups something is getting worse or something is leading someone to solitude hermit reflection what is it true for a lot of you, this person rejected you because they are in this cold shoulder energy. They got to figure out what they want or they're focusing real, real hard on what they want. Ace of Pentacles for themselves. This is a one-man army right here, this King of Swords energy. Yeah, they're taking a slow time too. To, it's like they feel like they got time. Tower, they don't. To make a decision, to pick, to choose. What they gonna do? Who they gonna be with? Okay. It could be a grant or a loan or income tax. We in that season. They waiting on before they make this move and lead us home. What's the sun? I'm gonna try to jump out. The Ten of Swords in a different deck. On this one, somebody being set up. It's people in the bushes. Okay. So they think they planning, but okay. What's the sun? Whatever plans they got, it's going to shatter with that tower. The sun is a two of pentacles. They're optimistic, but they keep going back and forth. There's a pregnancy, too. Someone wanted to leave because the queen of pentacles is pregnancy. Capricorn energy. Capricorn again, two of pentacles. Um, they wanted to leave, but they decided they had to stay because a, a child is involved. Whether the child is already here or someone's pregnant. Why is this two of pentacles here? For some of you that have been juggling you and another, they were real optimistic they would be able to continue to do that. Or oh, this you. 
two of pentacles for Scorpio. Three of cups, juggling you and another, and it fell over the four of cups. They don't know what they want, so they keep them both. What's that emoji? Woo-wee! With the little smoke. They don't know what they want, so they keep them both. And they stay married. King of Pentacles to the motherfucking four of wands is a married man. He will be. He should be. This is a married man. Aries and Taurus energy. And he in toxic energy. Capricorn energy. He right here playing with fire. He has a sex addiction or he got some trauma. He need to go ahead and act out. How did he act it out? He need to be in a room by himself to break some plates, throw some axes, throw, uh, shoot some arrows, scream to the top of his lung. He need to let that shit out. Not with people. He's letting his shit out with people. If this your husband, he get his shit together. Shit. If this, if this your baby daddy, he need to get his shit together. If this you, you need to get your shit together. Shit. Because this is a third party situation, no doubt about it. What's the sun, though? Can't say energy with the three of cups. What's the sun? Is this optimism, pregnancy, joy, happiness, vitality, success? What's the sun? This could be someone's divine counterpart with that yang energy. What's the sun? The sun is the eight of swords. Hi in the he who ha hell. Wow, in the sun again, as I'm clarifying. Okay, so talk to me, Mr. Negative outlook and they didn't find happiness. They feel like they ruined everything. They optimistic that they can get through. They won't be stuck for long. They found happiness, but they stuck where they at due to some kind of restrictions. Hmm. What is you? Someone could have a mental illness, though, too. It... <clears throat> It ain't full on. We will call the pump off. Is they went through something. Some kind of grief over here. So they just disconnected. Depression. They don't know what they want. So they keep them both. That's all. This person got to heal. I'm telling you. The sun card is negative thinking on this eight of swords. They are going through depression trying to heal or needing to coming out of it or need to because there's restrictions they could have been getting out of jail too optimistic that you can help them get on their feet what's this oh lord what's this hermit ace of pentacles he don't know what he wants this ain't solid or this is you there's a lack of commitment. There's a lack of potential or he ain't meeting it or you ain't meeting it. They don't see the potential. They're not manifesting nothing or what they manifested is on hold. Hang man. All the promises they gave you, Ace of Pentacles, are sold or waiting or pending. This is love life is a pending transaction. Period. There you go again. I'm telling you, this King of Swords is the highlight of the reading. There's a male here that does not know what he wants. Or he do, he just ain't done nothing about it yet. Why is this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles sideways? And I'm clarifying the Hermit, which is Virgo. It could be the Lord of Virgo. What's this Ace of Pentacles sideways? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh, Lord, somebody need closure. King of Wands. And there's a, a lady here that got two masculine energies. Or she's met her twin flame while she's married to a man she don't want. Or she got a baby daddy she don't want no more in that way. And she met another dude. Or she been messing with a dude that's real fun, fun, <laughs> fun free spirit. He travels. He's exciting. He's spontaneous. He fuck her in the park. She like that shit. She's bored at home. Four cups to the King of Swords. There's a woman here that's bored at home. So she cheating. Child, I need some motherfucking popcorn. Woo! <laughs> Hold up. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? Gemini energy. Ten of Swords in reverse. Full card. Okay. That's over with. And they going in a new direction. They going towards the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn and Gemini energy. This Emperor. He said he finna go somewhere else. Dude, you better sit down somewhere and heal a little bit. Who got that energy? Libra? 
right before y'all. So, Aquarius energy with this who? Somebody to sit down before they go start over. Or he's leaving this behind or she's leaving this behind so they can simply start fresh. They packing lightly. Or they kicking him out because they cheated. And he ain't taking shit but a, but a grocery store. <laughs> But a grocery store bag. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> the sun in reverse. Depression, child. I knew that sun was going to come back out. And it fell over here with this one. Some of y'all got two masters. Now, nah, listen. I'm about to say something real, real crazy. Somebody is lying about their sexuality. I mean, just flat out lying. They is not in the upright. And when I say they're not in the upright, this card flipped in reverse. Which means the sun is yang. It's masculine. And it flipped in reverse. And the reason why I'm saying it like that is because it fell over here with the other sun. So two suns is two masculine energies, two yangs. I'm, I'm just giving multiple scenarios. But it's giving a facade to me. It's like two-faced. They lying. I got depression here. Sun in reverse and a five of cups. That's depression. Ten of swords, Lord have mercy, in reverse. It's a lack of closure, a brutal ending. Somebody want forgiveness too, child. But uh, the sun in reverse over here with this six of pentacles, this is not balanced. Somebody to heal. Four of swords showing up with the sun in reverse is a lack of healing. They are not giving to this connection equally because they ain't got shit to give you. They are, un <laughs> they are unfulfilled and un-fucking-successful. Un you can't give nobody shit when you don't have shit. Because the sun is success in reverse. No. This is giving using. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. Supports loans charity. It's a charity case. Grants. Somebody taking care of somebody. Over the fuck extending. I'm talking about full on using for somebody. And you losing it all by giving to this person. Or they've been losing it all by giving it to you. Somebody lost a the pregnancy. They've been paying for services in vitro. My condolences. Yep, Sun in Reverse is a failed pregnancy too. I'm a multiple scenario reader. There's that grief over there with the five of cups, so there's a disconnect in a relationship. Some fool decided to cheat. His lady lost a baby, so he won't cheat. Man, please. It was crazy. What's the Sun in Reverse? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles is a seed of potential. Mm -hmm. They've been seeing somebody counseling. Ten of swords ending the death. Okay. Three of pentacles. Collaboration, teamwork, working together. This for somebody somebody is providing for someone. I don't care if you the the guy or the gal, the male or the female, the masculine or the feminine for the same sex. However it go. However it go. Um you taking care of somebody or they're taking care of you or your person is being taken care of by the person they are really wanting to leave but they stay two of pentacles because they couldn't do it without them so they in a third party okay three of cups three of pentacles Shit. <laughs> okay for some of you somebody seeking assistance from government foundations establishment three of pentacles six of pentacles because they they Somebody's down on their look, the sun. And if you dating this person, you really need to hermit. Sun. Fool, major arcana. Go your own way. Introspection, shadow work. Think about it. Get get optimistic about your new beginning, your life, your path, your journey. Because eh, eh. another major arcana. They y'all here. Major arcana tell me people going through some things. Lil Boosie, I've been going through some things. And don't nobody understand me, man. This is the energy. Sorry, I got multiple characteristics in myself. What's the <laughs> what's the towel? Over with. Lack. Wee! Somebody about to lose a whole lump sum. 
This tower was by this Ten of Pentacles as we began. But now this Ten of Pentacles is getting ready to be on a chopping block. It's getting ready to come yoink half. Somebody about to lose it all. Or they did. Or you've been giving, 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 giving. It's tax season. Watch out to somebody. And they about to yoink your ass. They about to take some shit. Let me get professional. Someone's in a relationship dynamic where they're not giving to equally. Or they have not been granted equal give and take. They stealing. And they stealing with status. We together. It's about the end though. Somebody gotta heal. What's this five pentacles to the tower? Oh boy. Spirit's about to come in like a wrecking ball. Five of pentacles for Scorpio. Taurus energy. Oh, this over with. Somebody's getting ready to leave a home, isolate themselves, move on, move out, kick somebody out. They getting ready to go. Somebody about to be sleeping on the road or sleeping in their car too. Okay, or well they about to try to take that car. Let's see. Ace of Wands, new passion beginning. Someone's getting ready to move on or move out or kick somebody out. Can I get one more cancer energy with a share success? Someone needs to focus on their success. Focus on themselves. Five of Pentacles or someone's very successful and they about to take them for all they got. Or they going to jail. The police about to come. He getting in his chariot. Let's look at it. He said, well, let me go on over there to Crazy Lane and go on and handle my business. Yeah. Five of Pentacles for Scorpio. Five of Wands, child. It's just, that house is a little scary. Or this relationship situation is a little... This is getting ready to come to a close. If you've been fighting, arguing with someone, if you've been conflicted in your mind about not knowing what you want, that person's getting ready to leave you behind because you don't know what you want. If you've been in a relationship that has been very toxic, very turbulent, it's time for it to end. Not because I said it, because Spirit said it. It's time for you to move forward, focus on your successes, or it's time for them to move forward. It's time for you to kick them out, put them out. Put them on their way, get them their little grocery bag worth of clothes over here. Move that food that showed up for a lot of you. Get them what they need. Get them what's theirs. Because obviously, a lot ain't theirs. A lot of this ain't somebody's. Just period. You at a stalemate. You at a standstill. Your life is on hold. Or you ain't been speaking clearly. You ain't been speaking your mind. Or you've been waiting for somebody to pick you. You've been waiting to exhale. Release this. Or you've been in a situation shit where you like, which one do I pick? Pick the one that's healing. Or pick neither one of them and heal yourself. How have it go? This y'all read until next time. Peace.